Many factors go into our weather, including climate patterns. News 5 meteorologist Lauren Brand is in studio to bring us up to date on the La Nina Watch. The Climate Prediction Center issued a La Nina watch earlier this year, and as we approach the start of winter, let's look at the effects that La Nina might have. Our trade winds off the coast of South America can have a big impact on our weather across North America. When we talk about neutral conditions, sea surface temperatures are right around average or just below normal. During these neutral periods, our jet stream over North America isn't impacted. Currently, we are seeing more neutral conditions. During La Nina events, these trade winds become stronger and push the warmer water closer to Asia. The colder water then gets pushed to the surface. These cold waters can actually push our jet stream northward, thus affecting our weather here in Colorado. La Nina events can cause colder than average temperatures to the northwest of us and warmer than average temperatures across the southeast. Colorado lands between these extremes, but we can still see changes here in southern Colorado. Now that we are approaching the start of the winter season, our temperatures will be near normal. Precipitation can be affected and most of the time we see below average amounts. Our spring season doesn't see too many changes and we even stay near normal for precipitation. Where we do see changes is during our summer and fall seasons where temperatures are above average and precipitation amounts tend to be below average. Looking ahead at the Climate Prediction Center's forecast, we have the greatest chance to see this transition into a La Nina pattern December through February. Afterwards, our changes will start to drop off and more neutral conditions become more likely. Even if we transition into a La Nina pattern, it doesn't mean that we will see for sure our weather impacted here in southern Colorado. In studio, meteorologist Lauren Brand, News 5.